What is the Kiai technique in Dragon Ball and how can it raise your power? In this series of seven videos, we're going to be going in depth into the untold power of the Kiai in Dragon Ball and discover its connections between Dragon Ball and martial arts. Let's start off with some definitions. The technique is pronounced Ki-Ai and literally translates to yell in English and it's a technique that's used by almost every fighter in Dragon Ball. Derek Padula, a respected researcher of Dragon Ball, explains that the Ki character refers to the breath, air or spiritual energy of life and the character for Ai is a combination of two characters, the top part meaning to gather or collect and the bottom part meaning mouth. Therefore, a translation of ki might be to gather ki together in the mouth. And with the given context of the martial arts, it could be translated as to gather ki together and project through or out of the mouth. The Daisenshu 7 Special Attack Dictionary lists the ki as a key manipulation technique involving a great yell when fighters are powering up. In real life, the ki is an actual martial arts skill where the martial artist will shout when performing techniques. Some use it to psych themselves up before a fight, which clears the mind of distraction and intimidation, leading to a stronger attack. Others use the ki in a defensive manner to intimidate the opponent, because when done correctly with the right timing, it can tighten up the torso muscles, hardening the body, which makes them look more fearsome whilst protecting the vital organs from damage. The sudden tension followed by immediate relaxation reduces the sensation of impact. Trained martial artists can survive otherwise deadly blows by using such techniques with proper timing. The ki can also disrupt the opponent's timing by using it at key moments in the fight. It's claimed some martial artists can shout with such timing that they cause their opponent to stumble or fall, and some can even do it without shouting at all in silence. Over the years, there have been some examples of this recorded on video, but it seems <laughs> more fake than real. Some people say the ki can only be used on those that are sensitive to ki, so basically the students in a dojo versus their master, but when it's used against fighters from different martial arts or western boxing or wrestling, it just doesn't work at all, as in this example where the supposed ki master gets malleted by the MMA fighter. How embarrassing and painful. I would not want to be that sensei at that point, guys. <laughs> In Dragon Ball, Toriyama morphed the ki to the superhuman degree, where fighters concentrate their ki to a single point and fire it as a concentrated blast. Toriyama gives a visual appearance to what used to be invisible in real life. The first type of ki we're going to look at is basically a method of increasing your ki during a fight and the clearest example of this was when Oob fought Goku at the end of Dragon Ball Z. When Oob let out a great yell, he emitted ki from his whole body which increased his own ki. During this process an intense invisible shockwave was sent out which attacked Goku. In this case Goku was pushed back as he was only in his base form. The ki is always invisible, but they can trigger the ki aura of the fighter to flare up around them. Another example is when Gohan powered up into full power Super Saiyan against Cell. He let out a great yell and increased his power tremendously. Since Cell was stronger than Gohan's full power Super Saiyan, he was able to withstand the force of the shockwave and appear comfortable. However, most of the Dragon Team were pushed back by it, as they were weaker than Gohan because they were shocked at his great power. This type of ki is useful during a fight, as you can argue it has defensive capabilities as well. The opponent can be pushed back by the invisible shockwave and be forced to use up some ki in keeping their position. This can exhaust ki and reduce stamina. Another example of this was when Hit powered up in the Dragon Ball Super manga. He let out a massive yell and raised his ki to its full power. This was like when Oob performs the ki, but the only difference was Goku in the manga wasn't pushed back by an invisible shockwave. This may have been because Hit's full power wasn't as strong as Super Saiyan God or Blue, so there wasn't any visible effect. This type of ki can also be used as a beacon for others to find your power. 
Gohan used the Ki in the Resurrection of F Saga so that Goku could locate his power and move quickly to Earth with the instantaneous movement. Similarly, Krillin used the Ki in the Moro arc so Goku could get to the fight before Krillin and Master Roshi were overwhelmed. However, the Ki isn't just a method of powering up before or during a fight. There is a second type of Ki that can be used in actual combat. It's called the Ki Aura Blast. It's similar to the touchless weapon technique in martial arts and showcases the art of striking from a distance. It's an offensive technique that also cannot be seen and an example is when Goku fought Jace and Bertha on Namek. The two Ginyu Force members were attacking him simultaneously from the left and the right. Then Goku uses a martial arts horse stance, then crosses his arms and then lets out the invisible Ki with a yell while extending both arms out to the side whilst looking forward. A gigantic invisible shockwave was shot out which sent Jason Berta flying. The ground around Goku also was pushed by the shockwave and dust went flying everywhere. This Ki was omnidirectional in nature, an invisible aura blast that radiated outward with such speed. Most key blasts have clearly observable key, but the Ki does not. It is often invisible. However, in real life, martial artists strive for mastery of the Ki by training to perform it in complete silence. So one could argue that Goku didn't have Ki mastery yet at the time of the Ginyu Force, as he had to use his voice to perform this Ki. Another type of offensive Ki is the Ki Cannon. This is similar to the Ki Aura Blast, but it can only be fired in one direction with a narrow scope of field. The Daizensu 7 Special Attack Dictionary states it is an attack which involves firing an invisible gigantic bundle of key, and a super fast bundle of key attacks your opponent and sends them flying. Now an example of this was when Super Saiyan Goku used the Ki Cannon against Frieza striking him from distance with invisible ki, sending him flying for a distance. In this instance, we saw Goku display mastery of the ki as he didn't yell or make any noise when pushing back Frieza with his ki. Goku had learnt how to raise and concentrate his power for short bursts through silence, which is the mastered version of the Ki. In summary, so far we've seen the Ki is a powerful technique that can raise your own Ki during a battle, be used as an offensive technique which can push back an opponent from a distance, and lastly the Ki can send out a powerful invisible shockwave which can drain the opponent's stamina and Ki. Sounds like a really powerful type of technique, right? We do still see it feature in Dragon Ball Super, but I think we should see it feature a ton more. And there haven't really been some standout moments in Dragon Ball Super seeing the Ki, so I feel like they need to remember it from Dragon Ball Z and then bring it into the manga, bring it into the anime when it comes back. In the next video in this series on the Ki, we'll be looking at the Tri-Beam or the Kikoho and the key mouth wave. So they're both powered by the key eyes. So definitely look out for that video guys soon. And definitely also let me know your thoughts on the key eye technique down in the comment section below. Something we haven't seen as much in Dragon Ball Super, but you'll remember it from Dragon Ball Z nonetheless. And also guys, if you missed it, check out this video up in the corner. It's about the psychic techniques in Dragon Ball. I did this one a long time ago but I think it's a real relevant video because those techniques we haven't seen in Dragon Ball Super hardly at all, only in Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Stuff like Chao Su, stuff like Frieza, um, also Goku and Piccolo with their meditation and levitating objects, things like that. So they're quite rare to see in Dragon Ball Super now, but if you look at this video up here, you'll learn about them from Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Thanks guys for watching, and if you enjoyed it, please, Kaioken! that like button and subscribe to expand your knowledge of Dragon Ball and get coverage of Super. So I'll see you in the next video but until then I challenge you to watch the following videos of mine. Alright? Cheers guys. Kai Kai.